Hello folks, uh, my name is Elian from Canada Auto Solutions. Today we're going to be introducing and demonstrating our launcher wheel aligner LCH W723. So stay tuned, enjoy. To get started, let's go over an initial checklist. Attach the targets to the rims with the target's back arrow always pointing upwards. Make sure to use the same pinholes on the clamps four corners to grip to the rims. If you're using the optional huggers, attach them to the tires with the arrows pointing upwards. Put the rubber stoppers on for the left rear tire. Center the steering wheel and lock it with the provided steering lock. Bring the alignment machine LCHW723 to the center of the front bumper at a distance between 2 and 5 feet. Turn on the alignment machine's power switch. Start the computer and run the software. Click alignment check icon. Select the vehicle. Check the tire pressure on each tire in accordance with OEM specs. Check the front and rear suspensions. Check the rims and tires, then press next. Check all four targets locations on the screen. Make sure that they are centered. Preset number of rays should be above 200. If not, adjust the exposure of the cameras by clicking the exposure button. Make sure all four targets are reading the cameras on 21 white dots. Lock the casters of the alignment machine cabinet, then click next. Wait for the on-screen instructions to perform runout compensation. Push and pull the vehicle within a distance of one foot. Now you can read the initial measurement results of camber and tow. For additional wheelbase measurements, press the additional measurements button. You can also get a 3D graphic reading result by pressing the 3D button. If you choose to proceed to the camber and tow adjustments, please move on to the next step. Let's start by pressing the lift up button. Put on the brake pedal locks provided and leave the vehicle on the parking brake. You can optionally do a preliminary caster swing test before camper and tow adjustments. All you need to do is lift the vehicle to the first safety lock and run the caster test. Now back to the camber and tow adjustments. Lift up the vehicle and hold it on the two post safety locks. Press the OK button on the screen. Read the results. Now start adjusting first the rear suspension. Do the camber adjustments followed by the toe adjustments until you set the desired green zone readings. Make sure that the difference between the right camber and left camber readings is not greater than 0.5 degrees, even though both readings are in the green zone. Similarly, make sure that the difference between the right toe and left toe readings is not greater than 0.05 degrees, even though both readings are in the green zone. Press the print button to generate the report form. Fill in the vehicle's information and save to print it if needed. Congratulations, you're done. <laughs>